guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my second video today i'm going to show you a makeup look and i'm going to be using majority of drugstore products drugstore basically refers to affordable products that you get at clicks discount and other places that sell affordable makeup so stay tuned and see what i come up with i don't have a drugstore primer I used to a while ago so I'm just gonna use my and release Focus. this is my and release moisturizer I got this one called beauty I have a mirror down here so if I'm looking at this way that's what I'm looking at I really have been liking applying my primers with a brush. It feels very professional. Now I'm going to move on to foundation and I'm going to use my Yardley and Bonimoli collaboration. I came up with this foundation. Um, I think I bought it last year, last year. The pump broke so I had to take it up like this and put it on my face. I really like the color of this foundation. And I'm gonna use sponge to apply. And if I need more, I'm gonna add more. I have this scar on my forehead, like I said in the last video. I don't really try to cover it. Um, yeah, it is. It is what it is. I guess. I am gonna put a bit more. I think that will be it. Right. I don't have a drugstore concealer. I ran out a few days ago. So I'm actually gonna use my Estee Lauder foundation. I'm gonna use my Estee Lauder foundation as a concealer because it's very full coverage. I'm also almost out of this foundation it's one of my favorite it's very full coverage I'll put some there on the side of my mouth and a little bit there and I'm gonna blend that immediately because it will dry and once it dries, it's not going anywhere. So you have to blend pretty quickly. I'm also going to bring it to my eyelids. Okay. 
I'm gonna take a much brighter concealer. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it over that one. Over there. Get a bit on the bridge of my nose. Here and then I'm gonna put some on this side. I'm just gonna go in with that Estee Lauder foundation. And I'm gonna put a little bit on top of here. And I'm gonna blend that. For powder, I'm gonna use this black opal translucent powder. It's actually called the Invisible Oil Blocking Loose Powder. It is translucent, but they have shades. I think this is. Oh, this is just the translucent, but they have medium, dark, so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna put this into... here. Now, because this um, foundation that I used as a concealer is very dry, like it's it's a matte formula, I'm not gonna bake. I'm just gonna set the under eye. I try not to put too much of this powder because I find that it's quite matte. Well, it makes sense because it is called the oil blocking powder. I think that's enough. Again, I don't have a drugstore bronzer. I am gonna pick one up for, from Scarlet Hill soon. And I'll definitely show that in a video. So I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't know if it's gonna show. It looks like that. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that one to bronze my face. I really like this bronzer. I've even hit pan on it. That's how much it's well loved. I like to put on a lot of bronzer too. I promise I'm gonna get used to looking at camera lens instead of the viewfinder. Even when I film stuff on my cell phone, I'm always missing the mark on that. But I'll get better. I'll get better. You'll see, sweetheart. You'll see, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move on to blush. I'm gonna use my very old faithful Beauty Treats blush palette. It looks like this. I bought this from Discam. You can see this color is very well loved. I use it as I use it as a like a transition shade for eyeshadow usually. For blush, I usually like to take how many usually is am I gonna say? I usually 
I like to use this one. Yeah. I love this blush. I've had it for such a long time. It's really nice, it's matte, it smells really good, it's cheap. It was very cheap. And to this day, I love it. And should I dabble in the other shades? I never do. I'm just gonna take a minute. Just to not neglect the other shades. And they're gonna start to feel like they're just a supporting cast. Now let's move on to highlighter. I have the Maybelline Master Chrome. Oh. And this one is in shade, shade is molten gold. And I'm gonna put that. I like to wear a lot of highlighter. So I'm gonna put that on my cheeks, on the bridge of my nose. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Benai Luxury Powder, looks like that, and I'm gonna use it to bake the like my cheeks. I'm gonna use it to define my cheeks type of a thing. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna do too much of this today because I I am not gonna do the most complicated eye look since I already have my foundation on. Usually I start with my foundation if I'm just gonna do a simple look. I'm gonna go back to that blush palette and I'm gonna use that shade that I told you guys I usually use for this one for my eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna blend the crease with it. I'm not trying to be precise with this color or anything, I just want to blend the space between where I put the, that concealer to prime my lids and the part of my lids that I did not put concealer on so that it doesn't look crazy. Mm, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take a smudging brush and I'm gonna put that same color in my lower lash line. Let's just kill two birds with one eyeshadow color. I'm just gonna smoke that underneath. Yeah, like that. And then I'm gonna use, this is a Essence mm, eyeshadow. I've had this for a very long time. 
very long time. It's like a dark purple with a bit of shimmer. It's called the mask mask ball. I'm gonna link I'm gonna link every product that I use in the description. I'm not sure if they still have this in store, but hopefully they do. So I'm going to take that color and I'm gonna apply it just a little bit lower than where I applied that first shade. I love this eyeshadow. I've had it for a very long time and I could never get rid of it. It also has some sentimental value to me, so. If they still sell it actually, I would like to get another one. So I can have, so I can have it forever. I love how that looks. Can you see? Oh, I love that. I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. I'm gonna take this eyeshadow. This is also from Essence. That's what it looks like. It's a beautiful foiled eyeshadow. It's part of the melted chrome range. It's really, really beautiful. And I'm gonna take that with a flat brush. Hmm, I wonder if I should spray it. Let me spray it actually. I'm just gonna put some setting spray on the brush. I'm gonna do like this in the back of my hand so I can take off any excess water. And then I'm gonna take some and I'm gonna put that on my lid. And then I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna take a small brush like that. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna just place more eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna bring that on the lower lash line. So I can have a nice, nice sparkle. Let me take a clean brush and I'm just gonna blend in the outer corner here. Make sure everything is seamless and it makes sense. Alright, I have this mascara. It's technically not drugstore, but it's cheap. It's by the brand J1. And it's inside of Woolies. There's a lot of product in this too. And I think that's a little bit problematic because whenever I have to put it back, like some product kind of comes out because there's no space. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. And then I'm gonna apply my eyelashes. I have these ones by Eyelor. I really like them. They're called the Fluttery Intense. And this is part of the pre glued range. So these already have glue. You don't have to work hard to glue them on. I'm still gonna practice and try to master the normal eyelashes. Because those you can reuse more often. These ones, I've also been reusing them, but those ones have the other ones, the ones that, that you have to glue yourself. Those ones have a longer life, I think. 
than these. So I'm gonna put those on and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna brush off that big. Let me have the. Sometimes there's a bit of a cast from the powder, so I just take the brush that I applied with the bronzer with. So for brows, I'm gonna use this pencil from Essence. I've used quite a lot of it. I think it's called the Eyebrow Designer and the shade is 02 Brown. I'm gonna do a very natural brow. Mm. I'm not giving it too much structure at all. Just as long as I get some color in there. When I'm doing my makeup in a hurry, I really like using this pencil because it does a job really, really quickly. I'm going to take a spoolie and I'm going to brush. And to set my brows, I use the soap technique. I have this clear soap from Clicks. Yeah, I got it from Clicks. I'm just gonna spray just one spray is enough. And I'm gonna take a spoolie, clean spoolie, and I'm gonna just take some of that. I'm going to set my eyebrows with that. And that's what I'm doing with my brows today. All right, next up we have lips. So we want to lips. I'm gonna use these lip liners from LA Girl. There they are. I have them in bed, which is a lighter one, it's like a beige color. And then I have this other one, I think it's called chocolate. It's a dropped off a bit. It's called chocolate. I'm gonna go in with the chocolate shade. Gonna light it lip. I'm gonna fill it a bit. Well, a lot. And that, and then I'm gonna take the bare color, and I'm just gonna put it all over my lips. I'm going to use this NYX setting spray, it's the dewy finish, and I'm just going to, just for fun, I'm going to do some frog freckles, and I'm going to use this eyeliner, it's a brown eyeliner, and funny enough, I'm going to use a goggy pen, or a marker, whatever you call it. Back in my days, we call them cookie pens. <laughs> so I'm gonna use those to make freckles. I'm just gonna make some dots on my face. Around my nose. And then I'm gonna use this one, which is much darker. And I'm gonna make much bigger marks like that. Mm, yeah, I think let's leave it up too, so that I don't hold it. Oh, wow. Are we done? That was fast. Usually I take longer to do my makeup. So this is my final look. I really love this makeup. This foundation, if you take any recommendation from the products that I have here, this foundation is the one that you should take. It's beautiful. I haven't been able to get <clears throat> a foundation that works really well for my skin color at the drugstore, aka clicks, discount, places like that. But this one has really, 
came in and changed the game for me. I'm always gonna have a bottle. If you're trying to get into the eyelashes thing and you're not well versed with the glue and the tweezers and the whatnot, you can also buy these. I recommend these as well. I also really recommend this. Actually, I recommend every product I've used. I really love these products. I use them over and over. Don't sleep on the drugstore for a lot of good products. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can be good up every time that I post. Thank you for watching. What's happening here? Yeah. Yeah, you mm -hmm. got it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Do you guys know that? TikTok thing. I love TikTok. Do you guys watch TikTok?